Now, weight's just one type of force. So we want to look at different types of forces, and, and multiple forces can be on an object at one time. Uh, for example, let's look here. This is, uh, this is a scene from the forthcoming Star Wars 8, uh, The Return of the Turtle. Uh, it's a combination uh, movie with Disney, and you can see Goofy's uh, down, the tur space turtle's attacking him, and uh, Darth Vader has, uh, of course, he's friendly again. He's uh, rejoined the pack, and he's trying to help him get it off, but uh, he's having a little trouble. Uh, Han Solo is pushing in one direction, applying a force in this direction. Lando Calrissian is applying a force in this direction. Together, uh, they're applying a force somewhere in this, in this direction. Now, Darth Vader's working in the wrong direction here. What we want to do is figure out what the sum of these forces is. So let's diagram it out. Let's go over here and uh, let's see. First, I'll use a free body diagram. We'll say, uh, let's see. And a free body diagram, what we do there is we have all the forces applied coming from one point. So this is Darth Vader applying a force in that direction. Han Solo applying a force in this direction. I'll call that FHS and FDV. I'll use a subscript. I'll use this F, capital F for force. I'll be sure to rewrite that so you can read it. I'll call this F. Let's see, I'll just call it D, force of Darth Vader. This is the force of Han Solo. And this is the force of Lando Calrissian. So if you go back here to the, to the actual model, you can see they're working in a triangle. They're kind of pushing against each other. So now let's see. Let's, uh, so this is a free body diagram. Note everything's leaving from the same point. Okay. Now, let's figure out how to add these. The way I can add them, I can assign a value to each, to each of these forces. Let's say, um, well, we need, to, we need to set a scale. And this is the scale we'll use. We need, to know, we need to know the magnitude of the force and the direction. Force is a vector quantity. And a vector quantity has magnitude and direction. Um, like, uh, if I want to go to, if I want to go to Gig Harbor, then I need to know not just that I go 20 miles, but that I go 20 miles south. So the standard we use will have this be zero degrees off to the right, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and uh, right here will be 270 degrees. So force is a vector. A scalar property is something that doesn't have a direction, like temperature or my age. Now let's set some uh, let's set some values. Let's say Darth Vader is applying a force of thirty pounds at ninety degrees. There's Darth. We'll say Han Solo is applying a force of 20 pounds at, uh, let's say that's about, that's uh, more than 270. Let's say it's about 280 degrees. And finally, Lando Calrissian is applying a force of 40 pounds because he's burly, at uh, 180, 270, let's say about 200 degrees. Okay, now we're going to add these up using the head-to-tail method of adding vectors. So I'm going to get rid of these pieces right there. I'm going to use a protractor and a ruler. The protractor will give me the angle, and the ruler, I'll use that for the magnitude of the force. I'll say, um, let's see, 30, 40, if this is big enough, 
Hmm. I'll say, I got to set a scale. So I'll say let one centimeter, now let's see, let two centimeters equal 10 pounds. So let's see what I do with the first one. I start off with Darth Vader, and really, I can start off with any of these. I'm going to add these vectors together. And when I add them together, it doesn't matter which one I start off with. 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1. 